Hey y'all. We have a very special video for y'all. Yep, this is your Jurassic World Dinosaur Collection. Alright, which one do you want to show first? Let's go biggest to smallest. Okay. This is the newest member of our collection, or his collection. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yep. And it came with another dinosaur, which is in here too. The Malophosaurus? I think that's it. That sounds right. Yeah. I think that is it. Okay. Oh! No! No! <laughs> no! A dinosaur that fell down. Some of these aren't very good at standing. Yeah. They might be head heavy. Head heavy. Yep. So here's. Now we are going to tell you about the action features. All right. What action features? What? Why is his jaw open that wide? Just to be able to bite any of these dinosaurs? No, that's how wide he kind of did it in the movie. Are you sure? I think that's how wide he did it. That is pretty wide. <sighs> the, a the actual roar. <laughs> The actual roar is hard to say, and Dilophosaurus and Dimorphodon just fell down. Yep. There. So, might as well just... Put them back up. Okay. So, next up, Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus. Fun fact about Carnotaurus, he apparently had arms and hands like a... Like a human. Or like he's got mittens on? Or like he's a Simpsons character? I hadn't quite figured out exactly what's going on there. Like he's a human. His hands look like human hands. But we did. We did look at some pictures of fossils and not that far off. I mean, they just had little... I mean, you think a T-Rex had small arms and weird hands? This guy... This guy takes the cake. Looks like he's getting ready to take some cookies out of the oven or something. Yeah. Yeah. And his Here. hands look like human hands. Yeah. Look at those hands. But he's only got three fingers and a thumb. Yep. Like a mitten, which mm -hmm. has no fingers. Right. Except for Well, no, like that's a mitt. You're thinking of a mittens. Mittens have fingers, right? No. No, they're Mitten. just... They're just like this. Oh, okay. Okay. I was thinking of an oven mitt, but... Mitt, mitten. Oh. Oh. I was talking about an oven. I know, yeah, well, I, I, I think... I think mittens don't have fingers either. But anyway. No. We digress. Alright. Next! Is the main dinosaur in the movie. Yeah, this thing is uh the interrupter. Yeah, the interrupter. But boy, it's uh the amount of articulation on here is almost to the point of too much. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. It's got too much movement. I mean I know that's you know. But the mini action dino of it works on the mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, well its mouth open the closest, right? One of them? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's got here it is. Wanna see? That is normal, but watch. Uh, I don't think they can see that. There we go. Yeah, that's that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> that's how I feel in the morning when I when I yawn. <laughs> all right. But yeah, he's got uh, all kinds of neck joints. His mouth, of course, opens and closes. He's got a wrist joint. He's got the elbow, and then the he's got lateral movement and on the socket. It's uh, it's pretty good. And but yeah, but then like his tail. Why does his tail have to have so much? That's how dinosaurs. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I don't think I would have put that in there. Uh, maybe it was a packaging concern. Well, no, did you have to pop that in when you got it? Or nope. was that already in there? That was already in there. I don't know. I do not know. But the back, like the starting of the tail, you have to put on. What? This, like, right here. Oh, back here? Yeah. Oh. That's what you have to so put So there was on. some assembly required? Yeah. All right. Like on the box, it showed it. Okay, so. Next up. Pteranodon. Yep. Yep. And uh. Mouth opens. Mouth open and close. Neck moves. Good movement on the neck. The uh. Wings. The wings fold up. So that's good for putting it in a storage tub or something. Yeah. Like this. Yep. And now he has short wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wings folded up. Oh, uh, gosh. We are having some trouble with standing <laughs> today. Anything else about the pteranodon or pterosaur that people need to know about? Nope. It's pretty cool. Has some pretty cool detail. Yeah. On the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Next up. Ankylosaurus. An Ankylosaurus? An Ankylosaurus? Yeah. Ankylorhinosaurus? I'm just saying what the movie said. Yep, That's a ar this is an armored dinosaur. He can swing his tail. Legs go move. After predators. Yep, the legs move. Head does moves. The, does the mouth open and close? Or? Nope. No? Like Stiggy doesn't. Huh. Stiggy's doesn't. I guess maybe with the herbivores they didn't feel the need to. No. The grass eaters. I don't know. Like Stiggy. Pretty pretty good amount of detail. Stiggy doesn't even have that mouth open either. Stiggy. Okay. Stiggy Moloch. Yep, Stiggy Moloch is next. And the mouth does not open and close, but this is like, but we didn't tell something that we were missing about the T-Rex. What's missing about the T-Rex that we didn't tell? It's him? battle damage. Oh yeah, it is battle damaged. I don't know if that is unique to Walmart. I know a lot of the battle damage stuff is unique to Walmart. Yeah. But that's where we got it. We and this is the second one. What? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a. Well, he's not. He's got battle damage as far as the paint job, but he doesn't yeah. have battle damage like, like this Stegomolok has the. Yeah. Uh, the push thing. The, oh, okay, you already got. It. Like you push it. Uh huh. And then, then, you, then you just pull that up. Yeah. Then you got a normal Stegomolok. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. And his. Between this guy, you can have a dance fight. What? Hey. Hey. No. You right. can do that. Right. Oh. I got I got the hands. He's not allowed to dance fights. Yes, it is. Meat eaters and roll the earth. What? Meat eaters oh. roll the earth. Meat eaters? I thought you said meteors. <laughs> meat eaters roll the earth. Fun fact about uh, Stigamolok is... Scientists think that it's Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, the, that... Draconix, I think. I think that's it. The, the Harry Potter dinosaur. Um, that looks like a dragon. And Pachycephalosaurus and Stigamolok, they believe, may just be all different stages of like, one species. Like, um, that dragon kind that he was talking about is like the baby. Mm-hmm. As long as the horns. And the horns are up here, and the dome is smaller, 
and then it gets bigger for the sticky Moloch and the horns start to shift to the back and then by the time it's a Pachycephalosaurus it's got full-fledged dome and just smaller horns around the outside. Pretty cool. Next up, <coughs> let me move that guy. Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. Arms removed, legs moved. That one doesn't have a name though, does it? In this movie? Or Velociraptor. This? I know, but oh. this is blue, so I mean, yeah. that one doesn't have a name? No. Okay. But, um, oh, I don't want to spoil anything. Yep, no, no spoiler alerts in this. If you, in case you haven't seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we went to see it. Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, except for the Indoraptor part, I was scared. You were scared. Yes! You were scared. In the Indoraptor part. How about this, this one? I mean, is there anything else about this one that's, uh, I mean, it is, it is pretty much always in a crouching position. Yeah. But, I mean, that's not bad. You're just posing it to leave it sitting on a shelf or something. It's pretty cool as it's yeah. going after yeah. something like a like an Ankylosaurus. You know, like it's getting ready to get it. All right. Uh, Next up. Blue? Yep. Want to do blue? Yep. Here's blue. Velociraptor blue. The legs don't move. Like the legs do move, but there's no knee joints. Is that what you're talking about? And the feet don't pivot at all. They don't really. Well, this one, this one moves a little bit, right? Yeah, they. Nope. Do. <laughs> don't try to twist that one. That one does not move. But, but it stays up pretty well. I mean, this one. Yeah, that one moves. Oh. Yeah, it's got a more of a range of movement, but I think that helps that one stand up better too. Well, he's not gonna get very far like that. <laughs> he might just walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this is the Monolophosaurus. I think that's it. Nailed it. And this one came with T-Rex already. We already said that. Yep, we just got that one from Walmart. Um, it's another battle damage. Like they were asking $30, but we found one with a damaged box. And uh, they let us buy it for $25, so that was nice. And yep, yeah, this one's battle damage too. Like Stiggy. Like, just like Stiggy. Push it, then that happens. Then there's a knob on the bottom that you pull up. Oh yeah, um, that's another thing we didn't mention is the stamps on the bottom of these feet of every every Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy has a stamp like a DNA tag yeah and you scan it into the app and you add we'll up show your, you that. Um, okay. here you go ahead and start showing the Dimorphodon I'll pull the uh, app here's up, the Dimorphodon yeah. mouth opens also everyone happened on this one and a fun fact for the Jurassic World app. I had Jurassic World. I was trying to open Jurassic World alive. That's not going to help right now. And. But his mouth opens and closes. His neck moves up and down. Um, okay. His wings move up and down. Here's our collection. Once you, once you scan a oh. dinosaur into the collection, or scan the bottom of their foot, it gets added to the collection. And I will show y'all something. Oh, yeah. on the app. I am going to tap the pteranodon to do. So you can. If you leave your. There's the pteranodon. If you put your finger on it, it flies. Yeah. Let's, uh, what? You know what? What? That's not all the dinosaurs we have. This. Would you say this is your favorite out of all these? I think so. Yeah. That. I is, love this thing. It's the biggest. It is just great. But not the biggest toy in the line. No, there is the super colossal T-Rex. Mm-hmm. Which we do not have. Even bigger than this one. 
there's one that's like medium sized to thrash and throw T Rex. And there's also. But that is only the big. The big kinds of the new movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you got some little guys. Like the yeah. minis. And some from the last movie. Yeah, why don't you get out the T Rex so we can uh, maybe compare. Compare it to the older one. This is just the standard one from the first Jurassic World. Still, push a button. Yeah. Not as good as the new ones. They don't. Well, it's a better. This is a better mold, I would say, but. Like, look at the teeth in them. Yeah. I don't know, this one is a little bit better with the individual teeth versus teeth all molded together, but... Are you sure that's only teeth bunch? No. They're kind of bunched up. There's a couple <laughs> individuals, but a size difference, I mean, the new one is bigger. Size difference. Oh, yeah. And this one, I can appreciate the the pivoting feet on, a, on this one because of the hard time that we have getting this one to stand up just right without using its tail for balance. Sorry, Dimorph Dime coming through. I just did that. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. the last movie is Dimorphodon. Let's compare. Definitely a size difference. Oh yeah, there's a big size difference between those two. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that size difference. Yeah, this one's from the first, first. movie. Yeah. Yep. And then this is the new one. This one doesn't have sounds or anything. But, I don't know. I kind of like this newer one. It's got a better feel to it. Yeah. I mean, this one's the mouth. built strong. Even though the mouth has, at some point, been broken. And it even like goes to the side like that. Yeah. I don't know. I thought about taking them apart to see if I could fix them, but let me see. Oh, this is the Mosey from the the minis, is yeah. it the Jurassic World minis collection. It's called Mini Action Dinos. Don't they Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, this is just schleich yeah, stuff. I know. But, I mean... We have to show all dinosaurs. Well, it's just a... I mean, you know, we're showing a comparison, I guess, to other dinosaur toys that we have. This is the And schleich. there's three more from where that came from. Yep. We have the Allosaurus. Or Allosaur, Allosaurus. Yeah. T-Rex. T-Rex. Famous. You got more than that. I don't know where they are, though. We've got a Dimetrodon somewhere. Dimetrodon? Mm -hmm. It's the one with the sail on its back. What is this? Saving food for later? <laughs> what else have we got? I mean, did you want to show any more of your little mini dinos? Oh, and there's a two things. Yeah, two matchbox. Jerry Sphere, and there's that one, and there's this one. We have a lot of these. Oh, there's Even a couple of things from a Kinder Egg. Hey, there's one more. There's a Kinder Egg Velociraptor. Here's the Kinder Egg dinosaurs. Yeah. Indo. Oh. I mean, Donald Rex. Hey, there's one that was in the pile. Okay. More Kinder Egg stuff. Yep. So yes, we have a pile of dinosaurs. It's alive! It's alive! And there is a Dilophosaurus by the Allosaurus's feet. Oh, we did. We did forget about the little Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Oh, that spit piece in its mouth can come out. Yep. Just pop right out. Whoop, bloop. And then his frill can be retracted. 
back on the sides of his head. Legs move? Yeah. yeah. Do they? No. Yeah, yeah. barely. <laughs> they don't want to move. His arms move. I need to his check. Head does the, not move. And I need to check the app for something. That's not the oh. market on. What is it? Dilop Dilophosaurus. Yes. Goodness. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. All right. We hope you enjoyed our uh, our trip through the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom slash other dinosaur toys. Yeah. We we threw in a couple others in here, but <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay. Bye. Peace. Bye.